following the death of his mother, Queen Elizabeth II, King Charles III inherited the literal British crown jewels, a vast collection of priceless precious gems. Please subscribe for more updates. The collection, which was gathered over centuries from all over the world, is also contentious, with questions about whether some gems were given to the British monarchy or stolen from former colonies. What exactly are the crown jewels? The British crown jewels are a collection of over 100 objects that contain 23,578 gemstones. Edward the Confessor, who reigned from 1042 to 1066, is thought to have been the first to assemble a regalia of royal jewels. However, the majority of the current collection dates from 1660 and later. The crowns and objects used during the ceremonies where a new monarch is formally accepted into power are the most well-known items in the collection. Many of these treasures are expected to be displayed at King Charles's coronation, which is expected to take place next year. However, the complete set includes plates, robes, trumpets, maces, tiaras, and even a pair of spurs. Which are the heavy hitters? The elaborate items that adorned Queen Elizabeth II's coffin wowed the world during her funeral. The majority of the items are coronation regalia. Among these items are the following. The imperial state crown, made of solid gold and set with 2,868 diamonds, 17 sapphires, 11 emeralds, 269 pearls, and 4 rubies. Among the gems are the Black Prince's ruby, actually a spinel, not a ruby, the Stuart sapphire, and the Cullinan II diamond. The sovereign's scepter with cross, which also adorned Queen Elizabeth's coffin, contains the Cullinan eye at 530. It is the world's largest colorless cut diamond, measuring 2 carats. Since 1661, the ostentatious staff has been used in every coronation. The Saint Edward's crown, regarded the most important of all crowns, because it is only used when crowning during a coronation. It's a solid gold frame weighing 2.23 kilograms and set with 444 stones, including rubies, sapphires, and garnets. The Kohina diamond, which is perhaps the most famous diamond in the world, is not part of the coronation regalia. The 105-carat gem, which sits in the Queen Mother's crown, is estimated to be worth $591 million. The weirder objects. While the crown jewels contain a number of breathtaking pieces, some others may appear mundane. The coronation spoon, which dates back to the 12th century, is thought to be the oldest item in the collection. It is used in the most sacred part of the coronation, when the incoming monarch is anointed with holy oil. Coronation regalia includes spurs in addition to the crowns and scepter mentioned above. The spurs are made of solid gold and have a velvet-covered strap with a Tudor rose embellishment. The sovereign's orb is part of the modern coronation regalia, but Queen Mary II's orb preceded it. The pearl-encrusted globe was made for the coronation of 1689, which was notable because it was the first and only time two joint sovereigns were crowded. This is because Mary II married William, Prince of Orange, who was Mary's first cousin. A silver filigree baby rattle was given to King George III's children in the 18th century. It's kept in a red velvet lined leather case. Where are the crown jewels kept? The crown jewels are kept under armed guard at the Tower of London, a stone castle on the River Thames in East London, built in the 11th century by William the Conqueror. The Tower of London is open to the public and houses a selection of the crown jewels, including the coronation regalia. How much are the crown jewels worth? According to the official royal website, it is priceless. There is no official estimate for how much the collection is worth, because it is extremely unlikely that the jewels will ever be sold, though some jewel experts place the total value at up to $8 billion. Who owns the crown jewels? The jewels, according to the royal family, are owned by the reigning monarch and will be passed down in perpetuity to the next ruler. However, following Queen Elizabeth's death, there have been increased calls to return certain jewels to their rightful owners. The Kohina diamond has long been the source of contention. The British claim it was given to the monarchy in the 1800s, as part of a peace treaty with 11-year-old Sikh Maharaja Juleep Singh. 
Many Indians, however, believe that the gem was stolen rather than surrendered after Britain colonized the country with two bloody wars and thousands of deaths. In 2000, Indian parliamentarians signed a letter to Britain demanding that the Kohinoor be returned. Britain owes us, said prominent Indian MP Shashi Thara. However, rather than returning the evidence of their opacity to their rightful owners, the British are proudly displaying the Kohinoor on the Queen Mother's crown in the Tower of London. It serves as a stark reminder of what colonialism was all about. Shameless subjugation, coercion, and misappropriation. India isn't the only country that claims ownership of the diamond. Pakistan, Afghanistan, and Iran have all requested that the Kohinoor be returned to them. However, the royal family claims ownership, despite the fact that the diamond probably originated in India. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates on the royal family.